What is up, my friends? So we are here in the garden because we have some major upkeep to do. We've got to pick the weeds, um, trim up some dead leaves, trim up some of the tomatoes, and take care of the monstrous uh, pumpkin patch over there, if you want to look over there. Yeah. Gotta take care of that. Clean some, clean some of that stuff up as well. So we're going to get to it. So we um, have mold because we were watering from overhead at first before we got the um, like drip irrigation. Uh, so all we did was mix baking soda and a little bit of water and I spray it at nighttime because you don't want to spray leaves during the day um, because like the water droplets will just make the sun rays super hot and it'll burn your leaves. So I do it at night but it seems to be taking care of it. Very, very excited. It's a pumpkin. We have another pumpkin down here. So what I've been doing is I take these and I wrap it back in itself because I don't want it growing and taking over the other plants. So this is just all one big mess. Have you been recording? Is that recording? It's recording. So with the tomatoes, you want to trim up the bottom branches um, just for aeration as well as like so it's easier for them to produce because there's less energy going to these bottom leaves and more energy going to the top where it's going to produce the tomatoes. So that's what we're going to do. Freaking crow. Just do like the bottom three. Look at that technique. Flexibility, baby. <laughs> to the front yard. Okay, so Cooper is a very stinky boy. And I don't want to take him to the groomers because last time they shaved him too much and then he started licking his wing wing and like he got a really bad like rash down there. So I was a little nervous to take him back to the groomers. So we're just gonna do it here. We got some Burt's Bees dog wash. He's never gotten a hose bath before. So this is the first time. I usually just bathe him in the bathtub, but he's too big now. <laughs> Cooper, are you ready, Bubba? Also, small disclaimer, Cooper hates baths. So this is gonna be a full fight. I don't know how much good camera footage we're gonna get, but we're gonna attempt by putting it on a tripod. Yeah. He loves swimming. He loves getting the ocean, lakes, whatever. He'll swim around, have a good time. But as soon as you try to give him a bath, he's like, I don't, this water thing, we don't mix. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, Pooper, I hope you're excited. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions But somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy But I do who's in front of me I was looking for a remedy But I do who's in front of me yeah. Push it back, hold your clothes, start a fire The next day. What is up, my friends? I am super excited because we're gonna be doing some baking today. So I've been rather unsuccessful lately at baking, um, just having a lot of epic fails, but that's okay. Today we're gonna be making some pentagram, pentagram topped vegan apple pies, because it's Halloween. They're so cute. 
So I found these on Pinterest and they are made by Domestic Gothness. So we're gonna make them. I'm super excited. I'm also gonna do a little post for Instagram as well because they're adorable. And today is Tuesday. So it's Tasty Treat Tuesday, I think is what I meant. Is it Tasty Treat Tuesday? Oh, Trendy, that's right. Thursday is Tasties. So I'm trying to like get like on a schedule with Instagram and I'm doing alliterations um, for the days of the week so I can like be more scheduled with posts. So today's Trendy because it's Halloween. There we go, brain fart. But anyways, we're gonna get to baking. I'm super excited. <laughs> That was almost a disaster. So I about put cold, like organic coconut oil um, in here. And that's not what you do. And thank God I thought about it because I was like, cold coconut oil, it's not gonna mix very well. I'm not one for reading directions. So I read the directions finally. And yeah, no, I'm supposed to put it in a food processor. So it creates this like crumbly texture well, I don't have a food processor that's big enough for two freaking cups of flour, two and almost three cups of flour. So we're gonna put it in a blender. I think it'll work. Should, I don't know why I wouldn't. What is up, my friends? So we are finally done baking. So we started baking at 9.30 a.m. and it's 1.42 p.m. now. Holy moly, these took a lot longer than I was expecting, but they came out so freaking cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. They smell wonderful. The crust is like nice and crispy. Try a little bite. That is so good. The crust is light and airy, and the apples are just absolutely perfect. I will be sure to leave the, the recipe down in the description box below. There we go. The next day.